Hey loves, Sheila here from madamebay.com where we share everything weight loss, wellness, healing naturally, healthy recipes and all that good stuff. If you're new here, welcome and for those that are old here, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you two healthy munchies recipes as requested by Sam Bell. I do not know if I pronounced that right but you requested for some more healthy munchies recipes and those are one of my favorite videos to record for you guys. So today I'm going to be sharing with you two munchies recipes and these two munchies recipes if you watch my previous video, I've been doing videos about intermittent fasting. The first one was about intermittent fasting and everything you need to know. The second one was the previous one where I was talking about the OMAD lifestyle, which is a type of intermittent fasting. And I told you guys I'm going to share with you exactly what I'm eating because I'm continuing with the intermittent fast, like I said in the previous video. If you haven't watched it, Feel free to check it out, I'm going to leave a link to it above. I'm doing this for myself personally because of course I told you guys I want to tap into those healing benefits of intermittent fasting but also when I started my weight loss journey, my first successful weight loss journey in 2015, I've been able to keep off the weight until now. However, I've reached a point right now that I want to lose a little more pounds so because I want to lose a few pounds, I decided to incorporate the OMAD lifestyle every other day or every day. It depends on how I feel during the day and today I'm fasting. I haven't eaten anything and I have the matches. I'm super hungry. I've actually been really hungry since last night but I tried to not think about it and then this morning I still woke up hungry but because I had to work out and do a bunch of other things like I said in the previous video, keep busy. So I've been keeping busy and right now it's um, it's two so I'm going to have my first meal and for the first meal you guys know I love chicken and eggs but today I'm not going to do an egg thing, I'm just going to do chicken and it's going to be a salad but it's going to be freaking delicious i want a creamy chicken salad on top of that because i'm having a salad i feel like i'm not going to be super full so i'm going to add a dessert and the dessert is the munchies version of the granola cereal the reason as why i personally love granola is because i add peanut butter and peanut butter for me digests slowly and because it digests slowly it makes me bloated for another person being bloated might not be a good thing but for me it makes me feel like i'm full so because it makes me feel like i'm full i like to eat it and i want feel the need to eat again that is why i like it and another thing is i get this question a lot what kind of granola is the best i like to make my own granola simply because there is no additional sugar no additional things that i do not know everything in here is organic for example the peanut butter i'm going to use is all natural peanut butter do not worry i'm going to link it in the description box down below if you want to get all natural peanut butter you can get yourself one or just go to your nearest store and pick up the one that is made of only peanuts or only nuts not any other additional stuff like sugars and stuff like that and another thing why i like to make my own granola is because as much as i have a sweet tooth i like natural sweetness because sugar sugar is too sweet for me so i like to make this on my own and i make it small batches on a weekly basis because then i get to flavor them how i want today however i'm going to do the banana flavor because i have red bananas and i need to get rid of this so i'm going to use bananas now let me show you how to do this it's super simple super quick and super easy in fact it's the easiest thing you can ever make Thing to notice that granola is really high in calorie that's why it's important to make your own because the one that you buy actually has a lot of additional sugar and stuff like that um i added i put a banana peanut butter and i'm just going to add some vanilla guys i eyeball most of the stuff so bear with me so i'm just going to add some little sweetness which is maple syrup it's about a teaspoon well a tablespoon not so much mix that up wet ingredients first and then the dry ingredients after so for the dry ingredients it's just a cup of oats and i'm just going to add some cacao because i'm going to add chocolate chips uh the cacao is not so much it's just more for the flavor and this is about it for the dry ingredients uh-huh this is another one of my favorite this is sultan raisins the thing about raisins when you bake them they they become uh, hard and a little bit bitter and me I kind of like the licorice taste so I'm just going to add some raisins not too much just a little and I also like that they become hard after so they are something that you can chew on it adds to the texture of the granola so after that just um, I'm just going to put this for my smoothies because it's summer and it's warm so I'm so excited to have smoothies 
Oh, actually, another reason why I make my own granola is because it's way cheaper. I buy the big format of oats and put it in two mason jars. As you can see, I eat a lot of pickles because I don't like to buy mason jars. I just reuse the old ones and here. Yeah very little components so that's it for this stuff here so I'm just going to add the dry ingredients in there and mix it's always easier to get in there with your fingers I need both my hands right now kitchen mess this is why I said I don't measure unless I'm doing a recipe. I kind of, oops, oh God. This is what happens when you're using one hand. Well, after this, all you do is just spread it out. Reheat the oven before you put all this stuff in so that while you're making it, it's getting heated up to save you time. This is ready to go in the oven, so we're just going to put it in the oven. So while the granola is baking, we're going to go ahead and make our chicken salad and the chicken salad is super simple. So in here I have half an onion, two garlic cloves, chilies and uh, some herbs. So I'm just going to put them in here. I put it in the microwave because it gives it more flavor. The next thing I'm going to add is some gherkins or pickles. Call it whatever you want. And now my favorite part is the chicken. So personally, the leg is my favorite part. Take off the skin, just take it off. You don't need it because it has extra fat and all the oils that it's made from at the supermarket are in the skin. So just take that off. I like to make simple stuff. Like today I didn't feel like cooking. So because I didn't feel like cooking, I bought an already made chicken. Make sure it's organic. So the one I buy is the raised without antibiotics, which is actually really good. Just add some chicken in there as much as you want. Personally, I eat a lot of chicken and because it's my only meal for the day, I'm going to use two chicken legs. I don't make the breast because I feel like it's not so delicious actually you know what guys let me know what your favorite part of the chicken is because my favorite part is the leg and the wings i don't like the breast so much even if it's the healthiest because it has the leanest meat but i'm all about balance and for me i like this and because i like this is what i have so all i'm going to do here is just mix everything once you mix everything the next thing i'm going to add because i want to make it creamy and make me full i'm just going to add some guac this guac is my favorite kind of guac because it has uh, everything it has like a tablespoon of yogurt it has lemon juice and uh, salt and pepper and half an avocado which is going to be super filling i like the balance of healthy fat good protein this makes it so creamy most people what they do is like put mayonnaise or something like that but instead of mayonnaise i'm just using the avocado because oh my god i love avocado and who doesn't love avocado guys so we have one more ingredient left which is the pineapples i just roasted this on the pan without adding any oil just to add the char i like the contrast i don't know if you guys like this but i personally like the contrast so i'm just gonna cut this into smaller pieces and add them in and feel free to add whatever fruit you like you could add apples you could add strawberries i just want to add pineapples because pineapples are very good for your health and pineapples are in season right now on top of being in season they're very good for your vaginal health they help you smell good i know that's tmi but they do now this is ready the next thing we're going to do is build the salad so for the salad, you can use any kind of leafy greens. I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of this particular spring mix, but it's what I have. So it's what I'm going to use. Normally, I would use arugula. So you could add olive oil and stuff in here, but I feel like it's too many calories for nothing, and this is already creamy enough. So I'm just going to add this on top. Alright, so our granola is ready and I also realized that I didn't explain to you guys as to why this is the munchies version of this. So I'm going to explain it right now but before I explain it, let me just show you. I personally like my granola a little bit charred and burnt and like, like dark brown. I like my stuff charred for some reason. I like the smoky flavor so everything I do is mostly charred. If you don't like it charred, maybe make, cook it for uh, less time. I put this in uh, for 20 minutes at 400 degrees and at this time when they just come out these are really soft but after a while they're going to harden and they're going to be crunchy which gives it more texture
Cho I'm going to add some chocolate chips. The chocolate chips I'm using are these uh, Hershey's chocolate chips. I always get the ones with 70% cacao, but they were not there, so I just took 50% cacao, which is equally good. And 15 of these little babies is 70 calories, so it's not bad, but I don't count really because I'm not going to have this in one go. But I put as much chocolate as I can. These are about 30, even more, but like I said, I'm not having it in one go. And even if I am, it's just one healthy treat, not like a big, yeah. I love my chocolate. So this is going to melt in here and it's going to create the chunks. What I'm going to do is put it back in the oven so that it can melt a little bit. And when it melts, it's actually starting to melt because the granola is still hot. But I kept it out for a while while explaining to you guys. Now I'm just going to put it back and explain what the munchies granola is all about. So one thing I really love is breakfast, and normally I have eggs, but if it's not eggs, I have cereal. But you know that the traditional cereal and milk at the supermarket, sometimes the cereal is not like 100% healthy. So what I do is make my own granola. And what makes this a munchies kind of cereal is because when I was in high school, I was in boarding school, and in boarding school, there's this thing we used to do, it was very unhealthy, no wonder I was unhealthy and overweight. We used to mix powdered milk, it's called needle. I don't think it was that healthy. Mixed with dairy milk, different flavors of dairy milk that was so thick and unhealthy and full of additives. And then you add different types of cereal in there. But you don't know what this stuff has been made of. And the reason why I used to love it so much was that it was thick. And you know that thickness that is so nice and creamy. Like it's not like ice cream thick or milk thing it's just in between it was really nice and recently while i was making granola for dessert i decided to try something and oh my god it blew my mind and i'm about to share it with you guys and this is my preference of stuff like i said i eat mostly healthy but i eat like a bunch of crazy healthy stuff and if you notice today i didn't use any coconut oil in the past i'll put some coconut oil in the granola but i realized that those were a lot of extra calories that i didn't need so i don't feel like i need to put any oil in there because the peanut butter on its own has some oil naturally so there is no need for that and then I'm lactose intolerant but then I like uh, yogurt and I like ice cream so because I'm lactose intolerant I improvise and take uh, plant-based milk this is my favorite plant-based milk it's uh, Earth's own milk I really really love it and then this is not the yogurt I buy every day but yeah it's what I have it's Greek plain yogurt it will do this here is homemade jam i have the recipe in my ebook munchies meat healthy food one if you guys want to get a copy you can get yourself one it basically has healthy munchies recipe stuff that i crave and i want healthier versions of it's all in there not just meat a bunch of other people my clients they used to tell me they crave certain things and so i made healthier versions of them even healthy chocolate so check it out if you want get yourself a copy i'll leave a link to it in the description box down below now i think the chocolate has melted a little bit so let's get this out and let me show you how all this goes down so now you can see it's a little bit melted what you do is just mix it on here what i like to do is just do that. So what the chocolate chips are doing is just make it clumping it together so that there are some chunks. I like some chunks and some thin. I like different kind of textures. Yeah, so that's it. I didn't add uh, coconut oil, but I just added some shredded coconuts. It looks so good, you guys. This is dessert, so it doesn't have to be that heavy. I'm just going to add two tablespoons. Then I'm going to add almond coconut milk. Not too much, just a little because still we have to maintain an, a proper balance. It doesn't even have to mix properly really. Then we are going to add the homemade jam. This jam is the healthiest jam. There is no oil, nothing and just mix. You realize there is no any added sugar. It's just plain Greek yogurt. It's just plain almond milk. Frozen fruit, I like frozen fruit. It just gives it some texture. And then add your granola. So that's it. Oh my god, you guys, this is like heaven to me right now. I'm like salivating for real. And I have the munchies. Alright guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also because it really supports my channel. And if you guys have any questions or any recipe requests, any comfort food you want me to make a healthier version of, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. Because I love to make these videos for you guys. Aside from that guys, I'm really, really hungry. So I gotta go. In the next video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys tips on how to stop overeating. So if that sounds like something you might be interested in, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell right 
right next to it to be notified when I upload that video. And if you'd like to check out some more healthy recipes, I'm going to leave some over here. Feel free to check them out as always. Don't forget to stay motivated, be patient, trust the process, and spread the love. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.